Hello. Hey, are you there? Are you still there after a year of me not making not one single YouTube video? If you are, thank you so much for returning back to my channel. It's been a year. I uh, kind of went off on the deep end a little bit after my last video. You know, it's been a long, hard mental year for me. It's now 2023. I have the motivation and the urge to get back on here and share some of the things that's happened over the last year. And then also moving forward, I really want to start making more useful content, more informative content for you guys so that this YouTube channel is at least helpful and it's not all about me. Here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into what this last year's looked like for me. So in 2022, we all know I went on this gluten-free diet because of my gut issues and I had so much hope that it would help me get through these health issues that I've had since my bodybuilding show. Anyhow, gluten-free didn't really help. Um, I am still feeling some of the health issues that I've had. Basically over this last year, after my last YouTube video, I went into a slight little depression stage. I feel like it's it was caused from my health issues that I was going through. And so it led me to creating two new businesses and started I started intuitively eating. And that's basically what I want to talk about today is my intuitive eating journey that started roughly 10 months ago. I started intuitively eating, hoping that my health issues would benefit from it and my my mental state would also benefit from it. I'm gonna give a really quick summary because I'm still kinda in the middle of it. And so I just wanna quickly tell you what and how I've felt over the last 10 months. The first six months, I found it really difficult to, to get out of that tracking mindset, consistently tracking in my head, even though I wasn't using my fitness pal, it was still in my head. Like for breakfast, I would say, oh, I think this is like this many proteins and this many carbs and this many fats. And then I would try and like calculate it throughout the day. And it was just, it was still just this, this cycle in my head. It took a while to kind of to push that away. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing because now that I'm where I am now, that's become very, very handy. It's really just all of the knowledge that I have about food that helps me build my meals and know how much protein I'm getting because that's very important for me and my fitness goals and then also my calorie intake for the day. I will say that in the last 10 months, I've gained 10 pounds and I've maintained my weight that I know of for at least two months. So with all that being said, the first six months of my intuitive eating intuitive eating journey was difficult. Um, I was still finding it hard to stop eating whenever I was full or I felt like I'm not stuffed so I could have this one more snack or this dessert after dinner and that went on for a while. Stopping my meals whenever I was full was hard because uh, tracking macros, you only make the amount of food that you are going to eat all of and so whenever I would make my meal, I felt the need to eat all of it because that's what I was used to. So it took a while for me to push that behavior out as well. Moving forward at around the six month mark, something just clicked and I found it a lot easier to make the meals that I really wanted and knew that would satisfy me. It was easier to stop eating whenever I was full, even if I had food left on my plate and a lot easier to recognize that even though I'm not stuffed, I'm also not hungry and so I don't need that extra snack or that dessert after dinner. After the six month mark, everything just started kind of changing. I really think that's when I started maintaining my weight instead of continually to gain. So, was that a quick summary? <laughs> All right, let me end the intuitive eating discussion real quick. We are we are now on month 10. Uh, like I said, I've gained 10 pounds. The gaining weight has been very hard for me mentally. A lot of my clothes don't fit, but now that I'm in the spot that I'm maintaining and I'm using the food knowledge that I gained from tracking for so many years, and I am confident that I can eat, I can intuitive, intuitively eat intentionally to either maintain my weight 
or lose weight, whichever I prefer. And at this point, I kind of am working towards losing maybe one pound a month. That's very, very slow. But I'm happy with that because I know it's a long-term game and I want to be able to maintain this intuitive eating lifestyle. I really feel at this point that I don't ever want to track macros again unless I do another bodybuilding show which is up in the air and even if I do it, it may be a year or two or three years from now. So I want to be able to maintain my intuitive eating approach so losing a pound a month is sustainable for me. I'm happy with that progress and that is currently what I'm doing. On top of that, I'm only training three days a week, uh, full body days, and then I'm walking on most days, whether it's on the treadmill or outside, leisurely walking, uh, just some sort of movement every day. And I find that that's been real key for me to stay uh, active. Have I rambled on to into nothing? I don't know. I think the main thing I want you to take away from this is that no matter where you are in your fitness or health journey, there's always room for improvements and it is so, so okay to, to go backwards. You know, that's essentially kind of what I did. I kind of just went backwards and I started all over again into a new direction, a new path a better, more healthy, sustainable path for me. And that's what I want you to take away from this. And if you do want to start intuitive eating, just know that you probably will gain weight and it's gonna be very hard mentally. But as long as you put in the work every day and you are continuously aware of your habits, your behaviors, and just the way you are around food, you will, you will get to the other side. I'm not really the best at explaining things, so I hope all of that made sense. But that's what I've been doing over the last year. This year, 2023, is the year for me to bloom. I honestly feel that this is it. This is the year everything's gonna blow up for me. I'm pretty, pretty happy with where I am right now. Moving forward with YouTube, as long as I can get my shit together and quit rambling like I am right now, <laughs> I do want to start putting more informative information out there for you and uh, just providing you with informative videos that you can take things away from. I don't really want YouTube to be all about me and my life. It's just, it's boring. My life is boring. I do the same things every single day and you know, I might just document more of my lifestyle stuff on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow my Instagram, it's down in the, the link below the video if you want to go follow there but anyhow let's just end the video now and uh, if there are some things that you would like to see please comment them below so that I can provide those things for you like um, maybe more workouts meals healthy meals that you can uh, implement in your in your life fat loss uh, tips, hacks, or how to even lose fat sustainably and keep the fat off. I do plan on doing some of those um, but currently I do provide all of this on my Instagram, so go follow my Instagram. And also on Instagram, I'll let you know whenever a YouTube video is up. So, okay, we're done. I will talk to you guys later and have a good day.